Hello, children. It's that time of year again, the holiday season, when we give thanks for what we have and try to figure out how to get more. If you're on the ball, you'll also be evaluating your parents and deciding whether to take anything they say seriously. Now, you may have noticed that every year at Christmas time, they watch a movie called It's a Wonderful Life. This film contains a lot of important secret information about the nature of life. So next time they're watching, make sure you get in on it too. You can pretend to be naive. Just say, um, like, what's this? And plop yourself down. They won't suspect a thing. Then watch and learn. And as you're watching, I want you to remember these words. Talk George Bailey, act Mr. Potter. Got it? You see, in the movie, George Bailey is the likeable but not very bright owner of The Building and Loan, a kind of old-fashioned bank who's played by Jimmy Stewart. He gets the chance to see what life would have been like if he had never been born, and he learns that if he hadn't been so honest and nice all the time, then everyone else in town wouldn't have been able to take advantage of him. Instead, they would have had to deal with Mr. Potter, who runs another bank and who's more interested in profit and less in what people think of him. He bases his decisions on people's ability to pay, not their personal whatever. Very unusual, I know. So he doesn't say the nice things that George Bailey says, and people think he's mean. He's like the Mr. Burns of the movie, except he's Mr. Potter. No relation to Harry, by the way, an adolescent boy who's always got his hand on his magic wand. Literary metaphor, I'll let you decide. Instead, George Bailey has to live in a house that's falling apart and is full of his numerous underprivileged children because he and his wife can't afford proper birth control, which is a real problem because Mrs. Bailey, naturally, also enjoys a magic wand now and again. For relief, if nothing else, wizard. Now, George always said he wanted to travel, but he never got to go anywhere. He never had the resources because unlike everyone else in the world, he really seems to believe the nice things he says. And he goes around not making as much money as he could. This is disastrous for him. And this is the lesson of the movie. In real life, mean people who say nice things get to have the best of both worlds. They get what they want and they get other people to like them while they're doing it. So follow their example, kids. Talk George Bailey, act Mr. Potter. You'll have a much more wonderful life.